Hello everyone and welcome back to Country Cast. Country superstar Garth Brooks recently shared that he would sell every brand of beer at his upcoming brand new bar, Friends in Low Places Bar in Honky Tonk, which will be opening soon on Lower Broadway in downtown Nashville. Brooks's comments come after other artists throughout the industry have also shared their stance on the Bud Light controversy as well as those who have removed the beer from the shelves in their establishments along Lower Broadway, such as John Rich. Before we get to what John Rich had to say about Garth's decision, Brooks relayed his thoughts during a question and answer session with Billboard Country Live in conversation where he said, yes, we are going to serve every brand of beer. It's not our decision to make. Our thing is this, if you come into this house, love one another. If you're an asshole, there are plenty other places on Lower Broadway. When Garth was asked if he could elaborate on which bars he was referring to, he declined and responded with, no, but I'll tell you this, the reason why Lower Broadway is a blessing and a curse, the good and bad, is the police presence down there. You've got to love this city because it's a big city attitude with a little, little town kind of love in it. This is a beautiful place and Nashville is going to be boiling for the next 20 years. And as I mentioned, John Rich has now offered a response to Garth's decision and comments. Rich sat down with Fox News for an interview where he had this to say. Rich said, Garth Brooks has always been the guy that said, Everybody come to my show. It's something that we love about Garth. You know, he makes his music for everybody. And that really is what music is about. You're making your music for everybody. Beers for everybody too. If Garth is serving Bud Light in his bar, that's fine. Garth can do that. Garth might find out not many people are going to order it. And at the end of the day, you have to put things in your establishment that people are going to purchase if you're going to run a successful business. So he might find that out. I think he probably sees the pain and division that's going on in the country and wants to try to help that. If I know Garth at all, and I know him a little, that's probably the impetus behind a statement like that. So good for him. I wish him the best. So guys, as always, thank you all for tuning in here at CountryCast. That'll be it for today's video. If you're new here, remember to hit that subscribe button down below. Turn those notifications on as well so you never miss out on any breaking updates surrounding your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.